Alexa, stop. Good morning, sunshine. Currently, it's 58 degrees Fahrenheit with partly sunny skies. Today, you can expect intermittent clouds with a high of 73 degrees and a low of 58 degrees. Happy Friday! Welcome back to another vlog, you guys. This morning has been so busy. It is afternoon, so it's like lunchtime right now. But yeah, this morning has been so busy. I uploaded a new video this morning, my Brandy Melville haul. So if you haven't checked it out, please go check it out. Also, like link it in the little eye up above as well. Hi, Oliver. You want to come say hi? I also had a contractor come over this morning at 10 a.m., the last contractor. Oh my god, finally, you guys. This has been an adventure. I can speak on that later. <laughs> I've had like seven contractors come out, but yeah, I've had the last contractor come out to kind of like look at my space to measure and all like that good stuff so that I could um, get an estimate from them probably like in a week or so. I also did a workout that you guys would have saw, like I insert some clips from it. Holy shit, I was so sweaty and like my legs are still shaky now from that workout, like insane. I've actually decided that I'm going to be doing like a two week glute booty challenge. One that I've like created myself. I just feel like I've been slacking in working out and I feel like I have lost some muscle, especially in my booty. So I'm challenging myself by creating my own challenge. I will be recording like the whole journey and like the workouts and how I break it out and everything like that. So hopefully that is something that you guys would be interested in seeing. These next two weeks are gonna be brutal though. I really like how I've kind of like structured it. I put a lot of time and effort to try to like 
structure it perfectly into like five different types of workouts over the course of two weeks so that I'm still switching it up enough but then I'm also working out the booty hard you know so if all the days are like today where my legs are shaky and I'm feeling tired already that this is gonna be a struggle but I think that that is a good struggle because I definitely want to see progress in my booty growth you know and I guess speaking about videos I guess this is just gonna be super chatty right now <laughs> Um, I wanted to get your guys' input on like the videos and the content that I'm producing. Do you guys like the amount of haul videos that I'm posting? Is there any other content that you want to see me post? Do you guys like like my vlogs? Do you want to see Q&A of me? You know, like just let me know down below because I definitely want to make sure that I'm producing content that you guys want to watch. So your feedback would be invaluable. So I'd really appreciate it. And I guess as far as hauls go, I do have two like main hauls coming up one the nordstrom anniversary sale it started today for me i woke up at like 6 25 a.m in order to get everything ready to go this morning and i placed a massive order this morning so let's just cross our fingers that everything does get fulfilled because i feel like i have this issue every single year with the anniversary sale is like my order is successful but then there's a few items out of it that are canceled because they can't like fulfill it which is so annoying because they can't keep track of like their inventory, you know, but anyway, so I have like a, that video coming, but that's going to be like in a week or two. Nordstrom shipping, I find is like kind of on the slower side, uh, but then I also have a Zara video coming. You can see the boxes behind me. I think that, that that's going to be like the next video to go up after this. So hopefully that's a video that you guys want to see. And then I guess as far as like other updates go, if you guys want some life updates and are curious since I'm in a very chatty mood all of a sudden. Um, so Invisalign, if you guys have been watching me for a really long time, then you would have known back in like January, February, I was chatting about wanting to get Invisalign. And you guys, I finally committed. I finally did it. You know, honestly, I blame it on COVID. I would have started it sooner if COVID didn't happen. <laughs> That's my excuse I'm telling myself anyways, but I have to get like a dental procedure done first I have like a crack like a tooth on the bottom here And so I need to get like an onlay put on first and then after that then I'll do Invisalign so my appointment for getting Invisalign is at the end of this month but then that's to like get the scans and the molding or like whatever else that they need to get before it gets sent off to Invisalign. So I actually won't be starting starting Invisalign until like the beginning of October, but I'm going in for the appointment to get all like the scans and stuff done at the end of this month. So that should be coming up soon, which I'm really, really, really excited for. I've been dying to like straighten out some of like these, these teeth. So Finally, I feel like it's kind of like just something like checked off and I love checking things off of my list, especially things that I've like have constantly been on my mind, you know, for like years and years. So it's, I feel good that I'm making some progress on that. And as far as like the last like major update is on the renovations of the condo. So like I was kind of saying earlier, I've had like seven contractors come out. I've had all the estimates and bids and proposals and stuff come in. And honestly, I've been swamped at work and I haven't had a lot of time to like dedicate towards looking at the proposals in depth and seeing if there's like one main contractor I want to go with or like splitting it up, you know, because I'm not going to lie, the estimates came in and they were pretty pricey and kind of like sticker shock when it came to like renovations and construction for a second there. So I just really need to sit down and figure out my priorities, I guess. Like I'm thinking I wanna do this in phases. I wanna do, you know, like tackle a few things this month, tackle a few things next month. And I honestly just feel like that's an easier way for me to digest all of the work that I wanna do. Not only like making sure that, like I said, cause I'm really busy at work. So I just want to make sure I'm not like missing any big details because taking on full renovations, there's a lot of details and I don't want, I want to make sure that nothing is like fucked up, you know? So I want to make sure that I'm spending, I'm giving it the attention that it needs, you know? So I think doing it this way, it'll allow me to focus on the details, make sure everything is done accurately, but it will also be like easier to like financially digest as well. 
So the only things I've really committed to at this moment is I'm replacing all my windows and the sliding glass door. I already put my deposit on that and that is actually going to be installed in October. Other than that, I think I'm gonna start with like the ceilings and adding more lighting, I think this month, and then maybe the kitchen in September or October and then the flooring and baseboards and stuff. And I think I might be putting the bathroom on hold for this year at least. So anyways, that's kind of like where my head's at. I'm not sure if you guys have been curious about it since I have mentioned it on a few occasions. So I just wanted to give a quick update to that fun stuff, you know? Okay, I've been sitting here chatting for like nine minutes. So let's go ahead and have lunch. I am starving, especially after doing that workout. My stomach is just like, give me food. So I'm gonna have lunch, it's almost 1 p.m. I think I'm gonna sit and watch an episode of Love Island. Actually, it's the finale and I haven't watched it. It's like the last episode and I haven't watched it. Um, so I'm gonna watch that. It's the Love Island UK. UK is my favorite. It's the original Love Island. It's so freaking good, you guys. It's reality trash TV and it's I'm obsessed it's my favorite type of TV so I'm probably gonna eat lunch and watch that at the same time so I'm quickly just gonna make some tacos that I had last night just like some leftovers you guys have seen these tacos like a million times for me at this point they are just like my vegetarian tacos it has like pinto beans garbanzo beans bell peppers red onions and some like spices and stuff but yeah, I'm just gonna heat this up and then I'm gonna grate some mozzarella cheese on top and then put it in these fajita flour tortillas. These are like my favorite. Oh, and then if you guys were curious about my outfits by chance, I'll link it. This top is from Skims. I actually just got it in the mail and I love it so much. It's in their suit color, but I also got it in the bone. And then these are my Brandy Melville sweats. So if you watch my video that i just uploaded this morning my try on haul i talk about these in there as well oh there's nothing no worse feeling than tortillas sticking together please don't rip perfect i usually do red bell peppers but i did a yellow one because it was starting to go bad and i wanted to use it if you can hear a dog barking i'm really sorry it's my neighbor's dog I feel like working from home, you gotta just make sure you're cleaning up throughout the day or else your place just ends up in a complete mess. So I'm trying to be better about just like picking up as I go, you know? Okay, okay. A little bit in each one. Fastest lunch ever. Oh, Oliver, you want some? He's like stretching up. <laughs> Gonna grate some mozzarella cheese on top and then throw it in the microwave for like 10 seconds just because I like the tortilla to be a little bit warm. And voila, here are my tacos that took me like five minutes to make.
morning guys happy sunday yesterday was a blur and you guys would have seen it be a blur too since i just put like a video montage in i just spent the day with juan we just what did we even get up to we did go to din tai fung for lunch and we went to ikea and then we're on the hunt for getting apple pie because we really wanted apple pie which we didn't even end up eating <laughs> and ice cream and then we ended up watching a movie the lovebirds on netflix so that was super good but anyways here we are here's oliver wanting attention since i'm on the floor now hi babe so really quickly let me put my leg out so i can block him from my stuff so i wanted to show you guys a few like lululemon pieces and target stuff that i just picked up this lululemon stuff is new as of this last week last tuesday tuesday releases and then i just got them in the mail so i figured i might as well just share them with you so the first piece that i picked up was this like bucket hat you guys, I have like a thing for bucket hats right now. Like I just love them so much. My black one that I got from Aritzia, I was obsessed with that when I took that one to the lake and it just like provided the right amount of shade and everything and like ventilation too. So like my head didn't get hot, you know? And so I saw this one from Lululemon and then I just had to have it because it was in the gray sage color and I did get it in the small medium. I feel like my head is kind of on like the smaller size. So like it fits absolutely perfect. I love this. Oh my gosh. And then I ended up picking up this new print in the energy bra. I liked it so much i thought it was just like some cool like gray splatter type of look to it which i really liked so in energy bras i end up getting a size four and that's like the perfect size for me the energy bras are my absolute favorite sports bra i feel like they just fit me so well i know i've said that so many times but i feel like it gives me like the perfect coverage especially for my cup size so i got this one but then i also got it in chrome i don't know if this is like a brand new release, but but it was new for me seeing it on the landing page for the energy bra. So I got it in the chrome color too, size four. And then I saw that the shorts, this isn't new as of this last Tuesday, but it was new as of like a couple of weeks ago. It's the stroll at sundown short and the three inch inseam. These ones kind of remind me of the on the fly short, to be honest. The fit is like a little bit better in the waist, in my opinion though, in comparison. But yeah, I got it in the gray sage color. I ended up getting this in a size too and of course i'll try this on for you guys as well medium rise and it can be worn like with every sort of outfit which i love and then i ended up picking up these shorts i was kind of torn on it on the model and i was like you know what i just want to get them and try them out for myself you guys know i love to do that because obviously things will look different on you versus the model so i was intrigued by these shorts and like the look of them like the front being kind of trouser like and there being elastic waistband on them them looking like i can dress them up a little bit and you guys know i love those types of pieces they're the practical play short and the 3.5 inch inseam on the little tag it says that it is medium rise but on me they are definitely high rise i just love like the structured look of them how airy and like flowy they are they are definitely breathable and lightweight so i'm actually so happy that i got these i'm curious if this is in another color why do i feel like it was in another color i kind of want to check that out now but I definitely recommend these shorts. These are gonna be a staple. The last thing that I picked up from Lululemon are these leggings. It is the Unlimited Tight High Rise 25 inch inseam. It is the exact same fabric as the Aligns, but what's so funny is that the last leggings that I picked up, the name of them are, is kind of drawing a blank for me at the minute, but I feel like it's kind of like a cross between those and the Align pants still, because it still has like the Nulu fabric, but it kind of has like that detailing the seam detailing in the front of them hopefully you'll be able to see them on at least but the back of them is different the back definitely mimics aligns more closely than the other pair that i can't remember the name of but yeah the front of these it kind of like v's down a little bit but they're definitely very high rise i love these so much when i went in store i saw them on one of the employees and i'm like oh my god is that a pair of leggings that's going to be coming out soon and sure enough it came out a week later and so i immediately snagged them up and i just really like the way that they looked on her so i was excited to get them okay moving on over to target i just have like two things to share the first being a decor piece so i went ahead and picked up this little wooden vase. It's actually kind of heavy, which I like. So this is in the tall version, the 12 inch in height. And then I also got the smaller one too. 
I'm just like really in to wanting to like change up my decor and all like that sort of stuff I saw that this came back in stock and then I picked it up the smaller one is still on its way I think it's supposed to be delivered tomorrow, but I'm really excited about that and I ended up getting like a circle black mirror too so i'm really excited for that too anyways the last thing that i picked up is a pj set it's kind of like in this snakeskin pattern so it has like the bottoms that are full length with like a tie and then the top is just like a normal button up these you guys oh i love them i think i have these in four pairs of like the shorts pairs and I just started busting them out again for summertime to wear like when I sleep and I forgot how much I love them so I of course went back on their website to see if they had any other colors or patterns or styles and stuff like that and so I saw these that was uh, pants length and I really wanted to get them because I don't have them in the pants length you know but I did see that they did have a couple more colors in like the shorts so I got like like leopard kind and then I got another pair of like the longer pants one in navy too if you know of like the Nordstrom ones that always comes around during like the anniversary sale and stuff this is like a perfect dupe and it's a fraction of the price like this set I think I paid $23 for and then like the shorts version is around like 21 22 this one was actually on sale but it's insanely soft it's insane so anyways this is the stars above brand and i got it in the size extra small so okay so the original price on these is 28 dollars, but still so freaking affordable for a pair of pajama set and this is a little bit long on me but i'm not mad about the length it's not like too dragging on the ground where it's annoying if that makes sense i still think that it's 100% doable. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I quickly wanted to share with you guys. You guys, I've been an absolute bum today. I kid you not, like I haven't recorded anything all day today. Juan left this morning. We did watch like another like Disney movie or something this morning, but we woke up pretty late. Like I woke up after 10 a.m. I was just so tired and I just was giving my body what it wanted, which was apparently sleep. And then after he left, I was just kind of like messing around for a little bit, not doing really anything. And then I was like, you know what? Like I'm still kind of tired. So I ended up taking a nap too. So I just woke up right before I pulled out this camera. So there was nothing really to film today, but I really enjoyed this like nice relaxing Sunday. It was exactly what my body needed. And I've been so sore from the workout that I started doing. The one I mentioned a couple days ago, like my own two week booty challenge that I kind of created myself. I am so sore from it and I think that's what's uh, contributing to me being tired as well. Oh, I cannot wait to share that workout with you guys. It's gonna be so good. I really think that you guys are gonna like it. Let me know if you guys are excited for it. But then also I've been responding to you guys' comments and I feel like there's more questions coming through. So I feel like it would be a good idea to do a Q&A. What do you guys think? If that's something that you guys want to see me do, like a whole video just answering your questions, let me know. But then also let me know what questions you guys have for me. And then obviously I can answer all those questions in the video. I would be really excited to film that video and that way you can get to know me a little bit more, but then also get all of your questions answered as well. I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening just watching some YouTube and relaxing some more. Next week is gonna be busy as well, so I think that I am going to start editing this vlog to get it ready to go. So I really hope that you guys still enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in a couple of days in my next video. Bye guys, love you.